So welcome to level three physics and our first topic is mechanics and our first subtopic of that for level three is center of mass. So the center of mass is useful for studying collisions, which we'll look at in more detail when we do um, conservation of momentum, uh, also explosions and a range of different motions. Um, so what is the center of mass? Well, the center of mass is essentially the point where the total mass acts, uh, also known as the center of gravity. And you can see in the diagram there that um, if the center of mass acts through the base of an object, then the building is stable. When, and if it doesn't, then it's going to fall over and collapse. And an example of that is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Okay, so you can see at present the center of mass is over the base um, which means that it's nice and stable but of course the foundations on which the leaning tower are based um, are causing the tower to lean because they've subsided and as people go up obviously that applies mass and it's going to slowly bend over eventually the center of mass will not be over the base and that means that it will not be able to support the leaning tower and it will no longer lean it will just fall over. So when you're looking at an object's motion, um, it's useful to be able to consider uh, a group of objects rather than a single object. Known, this is known as a system. Okay, and you can actually calculate the center of mass, mass of a system of at least two objects. Uh, and this is basically the ratio between these different masses. And there's the equation there. Okay. Uh, you've got a uh, object with a mass of big M, uh, which is x dif distance from an object of mass little m. And you can see that the ratio is that uh, mass uh, big M times gravity, because obviously uh, that's going to be the weight, because of the mass, times the distance um, from that object is going to be equal to the little mass times gravity again. Uh, times another value uh, little x and you can determine uh, the total distance uh, of the center of gravity by the following equation okay so center of mass and conservation of momentum is also critical so any form of uh, cal calculation involving uh, the colliding of two objects uh, you learned last year that momentum uh, equals mass times the velocity. And it also says um, that the law of conservation um, can be used for these isolated systems of two objects. Um, the behavior of the system can be analyzed by looking at what happens to the center of mass that we just looked at. Okay, so the momentum of the system equals the mass of the system plus the velocity of actually the center of mass. And therefore, if the, the mass of the system is going to be the total mass, so it's going, in the previous example, it's going to be the uh, big M, uh, the big mass plus the small mass, uh, multiplied by the velocity of that center of mass. And if the system is isolated, and what I mean by isolated is no uh, external um, forces coming into it, uh, then that momentum will not change. Okay, The masses of the individual particles also remain um, constant, um, thus, the velocity of the center of mass is also constant. So, in terms of the momentum of the system, it's going to be equal to the sum of all the particles in the system, which will become more important when we look at uh, momentum in two dimensions. Um, so, in the particular case that we used, the momentum of the system will be the big mass plus the small mass times the velocity of that center of mass. And therefore, if you uh, rearrange it, you can see the, the sum of those two masses multiplied by the velocity of that center of mass um, will equal the, the mass of the velocity of that, that big mass plus the, the mass of the velocity of the small mass. Okay, so if you've got two objects and they're about to collide with each other, um, then you can change the speed and direction of the, the other object. Okay, but the velocity of the center of mass is unchanged by the collision. And that's pretty much it for center of mass. Next lesson, we'll look at uh, momentum and how it applies 
in these collisions uh, in two dimensions.